today, undoubtedly the topic which is on the company audit and the learned, uh, bold and brave chartered accountants who have come to give their experiential learning to all of you people will be cherished by each one of you. There may be a probability that there will be a little low of one particular speaker and one high of a particular speaker. But one thing you all have to understand and appreciate is these people have come forward to show you something new and different. So this boldness, I think we all have to appreciate. Dear friends, we are thankful to all the panelists who are part of the hackathons in the past and today present also. And we are very happy to convey you that our hackathons are super successful and people are enjoying a lot. Your videos of 10 10 minutes are posted in AI and ICI website. Use cases are also given of this each hackathon, and people are enjoying this hackathon in their day to day use of AI in their CA offices. Next, we have last but not the least, the seventh presentation of the day, CA Amish Chenoyaji, who will be presenting his use case on revolutionizing audits AI in action for CA. Sir, you have a time for 10 minutes. And you may start now, sir. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am going to present on how multiple A use cases can be used in our company audit. And also, I want to highlight certain issues which we should keep in mind before implementing AI in our audit. So I would like to word it as Chakra view. See, this is the chakra view today we are in. See, now auditor is sitting straight. If auditor sees right side, his, there is a regulatory agency, they are monitoring his work. And if he sees left side, stakeholders are sitting, management's expectations are there. So if he sees left side, right side, this kind of thoughts will emerge to his mind. What are the management expectations? They expect financial statements on time. They want ratios, comparisons. They want a good PPT. They want to retain same fees. And they're fed up reviewing just old traditional mere FS, AR, EL. This kind of things, this kind of thoughts come to his mind. And he's sitting with more work, more responsibilities, and he's having less time. He's having less time for performing data mining, data analytics, PPT, etc. So to bridge the gap between the capabilities versus expectations, he will think, oh, can I use AI? How can I use it in my audit to have a more scientific approaches in our work? Then when he starts seeing straight, then again, certain thoughts will come to his mind. Like for example, data privacy, data leakage, data confidentiality, all these stuffs as he uses clients data in a platform. So if the auditor is having answers for such questions, if he's having clarity as to how data privacy can be ensured, data leakage can be prevented, data confidentiality can be maintained. If he's having answers for such questions, it is fine. He can start using a automated tools in his audit. He can do data mining, he can do data digging, he can perform a lot of analytical analysis, he can spend less time and he can spend more time on review. These things he, he can enjoy. If, if he is not having clarity, then he can perform normal traditional approach wherein he, he may not be able to reach most of the management's expectations. Further, let, let us say now he will consider using AI for his audit and he's having answers, but suddenly now the data is leaked. For example, if the data is leaked, so it will touch various stakeholders and then the implications, what will emerge is unimaginable. Huge, huge implications will be there if the data confidentiality is not ensured and if such data data is leaked to public or if there's such data is misused by virtue of using AI. This thought has to be considered 
before using AI. One has to have an answer as to how this data leakage can be prevented. If such answers are not there, we should not use AI is my thought. Then comes what, what, how exactly we can overcome these challenges, data issues, this Chakraview issues. Firstly, the most important question faced by most of the users is the data what we upload in this AI platforms like ChatGPT, Gemini, Copilot, various data analytics tools, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, is it, can it be accessed by public? That is the most important question raised by most of the users. Users, those who are uh, attending the session, they can write their answers in Chat GPT. What is their view about data leakage, data protection? It depends as to whether data will be leaked or not. In, in the case of Chat GPT, it is confirmed by them that the data cannot be used by public. So to ensure such things, we can sign off an NDA with them. And in case, if they are not, if they are not ready to sign off such NDAs with you, you should not go to such service providers. And also, there's a one more version called enterprise version. If you're using enterprise versions, signing NDA becomes easier. Then also one more, one more feature of that is, by default, the data will not be accessible by accessible to the various public people. So the answer for the first question is, you have to check with your service provider. You have to write to them, you have to find out their email ID and, and most of the GPTs there down or right side, if you go support, support email IDs will be there. You can reach out to them and ask your questions and get clarification. Post then only you implement AI. I mean, you can use AI. Before uploading client data, you ensure that you have answer for such questions. How to get answer is by just by writing an email to the service provider, your respective GPTs. Then the next question, what everyone gets is the data, what we upload, can it be accessed by the internal chat, internal GPT teams for their training and quality purposes? Yes, it can be used. If you are using basic version, even though if you are using premium version, still it can be accessed by GPTs. Please be aware of that issue. So when we checked with GPT team, they told us that in, in the case of chat GPT, for example, they told us they told us that there is a data control option in settings. If you opt out of such features, then the data cannot be accessed by even their internal team as well. So that means your data is protected. Confidentiality is protected. Auditor responsibility is fulfilled. Auditor has not. Further, if you use enterprise versions, in such versions, by default, this option is available and your, you need not have to select all these things. By default, the, your information, whatever you uploaded, it cannot be accessed even by the internal team. So all the users, those who are using ICA GPTs, again, the, even if you use ICA GPT, it is again linked with chat GPT. Those people who are using chat GPT or NGPTs, please ensure that you have answer for these two questions and you have ensured that your data is not accessed both by external world as well as by internal team of GPT. These two highlights, I want to make it. Then in case, worst case, let us say our data is leaked by GPT for any, mat, any, for any reason. In such case, we have to use our NDA. And as per NDA, what actions we have mentioned, those actions we can take. These are the three key things which we should ensure before using GPTs, before using our use cases. Attention, last two minutes remaining. Yeah, definitely. I need two more minutes, sorry. This is the 360 degree view on confirmed multiple use cases and the executions. 
reporting aspects, how to use it for appointment letters, then how to get checklists, then how to convert your, then how to use this kind of checklist is already covered by various uh, speakers. One more option is, let us say you have draft, you have got some observations, 10 points. This 10 points, using this 10 points, if you request chat GPT, it, you can ask for, give me PPT, give me a letter which I can write to management. These options you can use. Then for balance sheet and p and items also, the right side of my PPT, they are all the execution part. For the various FSLIs, what inputs if we give, what output we get. That is what I have tabulated here. For example, for sales and purchases, for sales and purchase verification, we can use the chat GPT tool for pulling various information from invoices so that that output we will get. Similarly, for, for analytical workings, you have to extract, you have to, you have to just update last two years ledger extract so that you can get month-wise comparisons and various reports. Similarly, lease agreements, if you upload, you, you can ask what you want. You want a summary of key relevant points? Yes, it can give. You have to ask, you have to ask your question correctly so that output comes properly. Then next, my final use case is trade receivables. For example, okay, here we have got, sorry? Uh, time is up, sir. 30 seconds, please. Suppose this is my audit procedure for trade receivables. Suppose I want to use chat GPT for my use case. I will just take a screenshot of this and put it in my chat GPT. Give me the answer. I will say I want to write a letter to management. I want I want a qualification point. I need a PPT slide to present before the management. I, I want to ensure that my audit procedures are proper. So I will ask chat GPT, give me the missing cases. So all my objectives for trade receivables as to communicating with those shared with governance, how to report it, how to ensure my audit working papers are proper. All these questions are asked here. In one go, I'm going to get generate answer for my questions. That's all. Thank you, sir. These are all the list of missing audit procedures, which you have missed in missed here, that we can review and complete it. Yeah, so thanks to our last hackathon panelist here, Ms. Shana, sir. So you presented AI case in revolution uh, audit AI in action and for CA. Thank you, so, sir. Uh, you also use the automated tools for performing, uh, performing data analytics, data mining, and how to spend less time on work and more time on analysis. So, and you also mentioned one concept like AI check review issue, right? So data confidentiality. Yes. And you also mentioned how to use the screenshot in chat GPT and you can generate the letter and the response. 